involves a person pretending to be a scorned wife who caught her husband cheating. The woman promises to give you something for free if you pay for shipping. You cash app or Venmo them the money and they move on to the next victim. The post is ridiculous, but it's been working. I am giving out this laptop pro that I bought to surprise my husband for her birthday, but then caught her cheating on me. I know I could sell it and get my money back, but I want to show her I gave it away, away for nothing, like her is to me. Yes, there are grammatical errors, but if you change her to him, it starts to make sense. The post popped up in a neighborhood group in Georgia, and it seems silly, but it's not because the scammer either stole or duplicated someone's Facebook page to commit fraud. We blurred the profile picture because the victim may not know, but check this out. The scammer wants us to cash app $70 to ship her cheating husband's laptop, and she wants us to send it to Roy Hazelbaker. Who's that? The transport holder, she replies, followed by a picture of a FedEx truck. He is the one that will deliver the television. So now we've gone from a free laptop to an Apple TV, and I can have both if I pay $150 for shipping. And here's something new. The scammer called with her sob story. I called him teaching. He was teaching me with my, with my friend. You need to send $150 to the tag he sent to you. Everything is okay. It's a brand new, not used. I used it for just only one week. So you're just sending out TVs and laptops for free? Yeah. yeah. Makes sense, right? The takeaway here is protect yourself. Do a Facebook search right away to see if you have any duplicate profiles. And if you do, tell your friends about it. Go to Facebook settings and privacy and perform a privacy checkup. The less information made available to the public, the less susceptible it is to online identity theft. They never stop, do they?